Hi, good afternoon, and thanks for tuning in. Um, usually on a Thursday, I don't do recipes. I usually go with a different topic altogether. But because of my day not really knowing how it's going to go, whether or not I'm going to be here at 4 o'clock, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a recipe up. And I think you guys will like this one. It sounds pretty good to me, and I wouldn't say no. What we're going to do today is honey garlic meatballs done in the slow cooker. And what you're going to need to put it together, uh, I'm just going to go down the list. So this is what's required. Again, I really wish I had the space and the ability to make these recipes in real time, but I don't. So you'll just have to take it by word of mouth and pretty much go with it that way. But I try to be as very self-explanatory as I can when I give out the information. So what you're going to need is it says you're going to need a six-quart um, slow cooker. I don't have a, a six-quart. I have a four-and-a-half-quart. No, take that back. I have a four-quart. But I'm sure the same goal could be accomplished. And then you're going to need a mixing bowl, a medium-sized one. It says you need a veggie chopper. Not everybody has one of those, but I don't see why you couldn't just chop everything manually. It does mention onions. And for years, I've cut up onions manually. I've never had a chopper. But if you have one and you have the convenience of being able to do it, that's great. Then you're going to need... Frozen meatballs, you can use any variety that you want. Beef, turkey, chicken, pork, plant-based, veggie. Um, just make sure that it's fully cooked and frozen when you buy it. Uh, you can also make homemade meatballs, but cook time will adjust. Honey, that's if you want to use it. You don't have to use it. I, don't, I know that some people don't care for the taste. It's a good thing if you do like it, but you don't necessarily have to use it. The next one is soy sauce. They use a low sodium uh, soy sauce uh, to cut back on the salt. I will only use one brand of soy sauce. I'm loyal to Kikamin. I will not use any other brand. I've tried other brands. I don't care for it. Kikamin seems to be the Cadillac or the Rolls Royce of soy sauces. So I definitely recommend that. Then you're going to need ketchup. Then you're going to need oil. It says you can use a light oil or olive oil. I'm going to use the olive oil. It's heart healthy and it's good for you. Garlic. Fresh minced garlic or garlic packed in oil will work. I use whichever I have on hand. If you don't want to go that route, revert back to my Sam's Club shop. I'm not saying that size bag. You can also use garlic cloves. Uh, to me, the fresher the garlic, the better the taste. Then, after that, it calls for an onion. You'll have to dice up a half of an onion. Uh, it says to use a white onion, that, but I think in this case it's per personal preference. I always use yellow or Vidalia. That's always been my personal preference whenever I go to make a dish. And then the next step, or the next ingredient that it calls for, is red pepper flakes. If you don't like heat, you can skip the red pepper flakes, but it helps to balance the sweetness from the honey. Again, I'm just reading off what it says here. That's it. How to make honey garlic meatballs in the slow cooker. Step one, make the sauce. In a medium mixing bowl, add all of the sauce ingredients and whisk together. Step two. Pour the frozen meatballs into the slow cooker and pour the sauce over them. Stir to distribute and cover with the lid. Cook on high for two and a half to three hours. Step three. That's the end of it. That's it. They're done. Give the meatballs a stir and top with sliced green onions if you like. Uh, what can you serve with the honey garlic meatballs? Or if you want to leave the honey out again, that's solely optional. Uh, it, can star of the sh it can be the star of dinner time when you serve them with a side of rice. 
or mashed potatoes, add a veggie like roasted carrots or roasted zucchini, and your meal is done. Um, this sounds really good. Um, you know, again, there I don't think there's really any concrete set in stone way that you have to make this recipe. I'm sure if you use your imagination, think it out, uh, what can I use instead of... You don't have to use the red pepper. I'm sure you could probably add different seasoning to seasonings to it that you like. You don't have to use the honey. You could probably, um, the ketchup is a good one. If you don't want to go that route, you might be able to use a nice, good barbecue sauce. Who's to say that you can't? So in some ways, from what I'm seeing here, this recipe is a little bit of a blank canvas meaning you can doctor it up or tone it down however you like. And when it comes to a slow cooker, how can you go wrong? You can't. A slow cooker is one of the easiest, simplest ways of preparing any type of food. Because once you put it in there, you close the lid or you set the lid on top, you set it for whatever time, it gives off a very little heat. It uses very little electricity. And um, all I know is at the time that it takes to cook your food at the end, when you open it up and you serve it, all I know is it's always been really good in taste. So as far as I'm concerned, a slow cooker is always going to be top of my list as a household appliance because it does have its place in the household appliance world. Because let's say that you want to make this for those that have an eight to four, nine to five job, or if you intend to go out and run a few errands, whatever the case may be, and you know you're going to be gone at least three or four hours, put this meal together, set it, turn it on, leave. By the time you get back, you've got lunch or dinner already prepared. So it doesn't get any easier than that. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for tuning in this afternoon. Like I said, I decided to put up a recipe today. I normally don't do a recipe on a Thursday, but this was the only content that I could come up with in short notice. And I also don't know how my day is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to be here at 4 o'clock. So I'm putting this together. Hope you like it. Give it a try. If you do something similar to this, that's great. Um, if you want to comment down below, please do. I want to thank all of you for tuning in this afternoon. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys back here on Saturday. Have a good one. Bye.